Welcome back to Agro Herb University. My name's Jessie. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about grow lights and using timers. So let's get started. So also keep in mind while you're watching the show, if you have more questions, you can look on our website at igrowherb.com or you can email me at jessie at igrowherb.com to learn more information. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the lighting setup for a lab. A lot of the stuff is going to have the same basic components. So this here is a ballast. And what it does is it changes the power from the wall into usable power for your light. So you can see there's the cord that plugs into the wall over here, which goes into the ballast and transforms the power. And then this plugs into the actual socket. So this is the socket that holds the light. So we have the, the bulb here, the socket, and it goes to the ballast on the wall over so there. So bulbs will come in different sizes from 400 to 600 to 1,000 watts. And depending on what you want to do will depend on what size you get. So this is just a regular high pressure sodium bulb. And depending on the wattage will depend how close the plants can actually be from the light. This light over here is a 400 watt. So if you can see, I have it about two feet from where the plant is. So about 24 inches. And that's so the plant doesn't get burnt out. Higher wattage bulbs have to be further away from the plant so that you don't burn out the plant. Make sure always to look at the manufacturer's recommendations so that you're using the correct distance and coverage area so you don't hurt your plants. Bulbs will last for about six months of consistent grow time. LEDs can last up to five years. They tend to have a higher overhead price in the Marijuana beginning. Marijuana uses more of a blue light spectrum in its vegetative state. So metal halide lights will be used in the vegetative side of your grow lab. In the flowering side, they use more of a red spectrum of light, so you'll use a high pressure sodium. In your lab, you're going to want to be able to adjust things and have them run on their own, such as the lights and the watering system. You'll want to be able to choose which timers you need to use for each. For the lights, you're going to have lights on for hour increments. A basic timer such as this, this is a 24-hour timer, that will be sufficient for using the light. Another type of timer will give you more precise control of the on and off time, such as 15 minute increments onto being able to turn on only for a couple of seconds. This one you'll be able to use with the watering system since you won't have the water on for hours at a time. So this timer over here, as you can see, it has the on time and the off time. The on time can go as low as one second on. This will be most beneficial for the watering system. When working with electrical components, make sure you're aware of where water may collect so you can avoid any hazards. Always be sure that cords are off the ground and not in a place where you can trip over them or something of that nature. I hope this video helps clarify some of the options you have when purchasing things for your grow lab. Until next time, I'm Jessie.